right, all right. How you doing out there? This is the Yellow Dot Spotlight Show, the Wednesday night edition. This is here on KXVS, a local community radio station here, uh, to give you the voice, because this is the voice of Stockton, and uh, this is a wonderful thing to have here, so support your local uh, community radio station here. We're always doing uh, fundraisers and benefits, so check out the kxvs.org uh, website that you can see a lot of the things that are happening to help support the station that we are working towards a tower that way we can go FM and even have a nicer voice for everybody to share as uh, we're local and beyond so this is worldwide if you go on the net and uh, again this is the yellow dot spotlight show uh, normally Fridays 12 to noon but this is the Wednesday night edition as we have other spotlight shows happening during the week we have uh, Monday we have behind the art scenes with uh, Joy Nice. And then on Wednesdays at 12 noon, we have Jocelyn Conde with Breaking Barriers. So those two shows are at 12 noon, Mondays and Wednesdays. And my show is Yellow Dot Spotlight Fridays, 12 noon. And uh, today in the shop, we got Stephen Littleton Sr. here. He just got done playing uh, last I heard over there at the um, stock market. That was the last I, I've seen what's happening. Are you there? Let's check out the vocals. Hello, how you doing? Am I live? Are we live? Is our memory on. Hers alive. Knock, knock. All right, I think we're there. All right, perfect. <laughs> yeah. You can hear me. There we go. Let's see. Let me make sure my phone's out so I can uh, make sure the engineer at home is uh, giving me signals. So, how are you doing, Steve? Doing great. Right Thanks on. for having yeah. me. Hey, right on. It was good seeing you last time we met over at the stock market. Yeah, it's been quite a few years, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely with us. Um, being locals here in Stockton throughout the years, and uh, it's really exciting to keep keep running in a circle of good group of friends and stuff and hanging out and yeah, stuff. I remember meeting you guys over at the 4th Street house. Is that dating me or what? <laughs> oh my gosh, right. Uh, hey, that's really awesome for those who are excited about underground parties and houses. There was a 4th Street house that I got to um, Definitely. got to host and try to have many bands and people through there underground as Stockton for a while didn't have a place for alternative music and stuff like that. And so, hey, thanks for bringing that up. There was a lot of memories. and Yeah, I remember being a kid, well... All of us uh, just going, man, I can't wait to go over there. There's something going on tonight, I guarantee it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it that was fun times. And, uh, you know, since then, um, you know, to date ourselves, that was probably the early 90s that all that stuff was going on. And so yeah. throughout the years, uh, how many, what kind of bands have you been going through? Because I know you've been through some. Oh, I've been in a lot. You know, I started out doing metal, you know, thrash style stuff. Uh-huh. When, I was, when I was young, you know, all that East Bay stuff was hitting and I wanted to be like that. And then, uh, you know, after that, I started playing punk rock, and I've been playing punk rock in a lot of bands over the years. Um, Shooting Lucy was the most notable, but, you know, mm-hmm. the band I'm in right now, Trucker Dad, Trucker that's probably Dad. the most kick-ass band I've ever been in. Yeah, they're, they're pretty happening. Uh, Santino's in there. I had to throw his name out there. Yeah, we were... Santino's everywhere. <laughs> all right. Hey, is your ears burning, Santino? Because <laughs> off the screen. Now, we're talking all good about you. We were like this, hey, Santino. Yeah. Hey man, is that you? You know, he's like <laughs> everywhere. Like he's one of those dudes that everybody knows. You know, I got a, I got a bar friend that I hang out and drink beer with all the time. And one night it turned out that's his cousin, <laughs> his <laughs> uncle or something. I don't know. But, right, hey, yeah. I'm his cousin, in law. See, right. There you go. <laughs> you know, that's the good thing about small town Stockton. You know, it's like Mayberry, and it's nice to grow up with a lot of us. And then we get to see our children grow up yeah. as you know we were kids and, and growing up with that too. Yeah. So with Trucker Dad. Uh, can you share some of this uh, album there? Or uh, yeah, okay. Well, this is the record, uh-huh. and if you haven't got it, you really got to get it. It's um, it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, Trucker Dad is uh, is a band. We don't play a lot, but we do um, we do play good. We play almost every weekend. You know, the reason we still keep going is because we love each other. But this this record was an accumulation of about four years of songwriting. Um, wow, so that's like some good soaking in. Yeah, like yeah. Four, that's a good time to really cure stuff and definitely and stuff like that. But sometimes I get questions on here, but, but go ahead. And, uh, <laughs> so within the four years, um, I remember you had, you had the, the CD release. It was mm-hmm. about a year or two now? Or Something like that, yeah. two years, because, <laughs> man, time flies. Yeah. But I remember Santino's, you know, we were all excited for everybody. You guys had the, uh, maybe it was last year. I can't yeah, I mean, we went in the studio and knocked out 14 songs in a four-hour block minus guitar solos and vocals i mean we went in there and handled our business i mean we were just that band you know if it's if you guys are listening i love you guys you guys are really talented musicians and you wouldn't be anywhere without me <laughs> right that's right <laughs> i won't tell the truth right 
quick break, though. <laughs> that is cool. So, you know, we're here to do some live jams and stuff. Um, let, let's do a live jam real All quick. Right. And, and uh, go ahead and, and uh, maybe a song that, that you uh, do and let us know a little bit about it. Here. All right, well, this song is uh, one of the first songs I wrote for my new band. It's uh, called The Delta Infidels. It started out as a solo project, and it just got so good, it, we made a band out of it. This song is called Whiskey Talking, and it's basically about being a drinker. That's what I'm talking about on a hot day like this. A couple of shots of whiskey. <laughs> you bet. We'll get you right back together. So speaking of whiskey, what, what's a nice smooth whiskey for a day? Well, like? I like, um, for me, I'm an Irish whiskey guy. Uh-huh. Tillamore Dew is my favorite, but, um, you know, I've not been known to turn down other flavors. <laughs> right. <laughs> definitely. Well, we should definitely have a show about that. We'll bring in some whiskey tasters. Oh, that'd Wait, be great. Wait, hey, don't steal my ideas out there, we everybody. We need some handlers to get that's us right. on. That's right. Hey, I got that one. Don't steal it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but that's a good idea. So what was that again, that, that Irish one? The... Uh, Tullamore Dew. Tullamore Dew. I think I've heard that, but I want to research that because uh, real quick, we'll have a, we'll have something like that. We'll bring in some tasters. Definitely. I'd be down for something like that for all sure. All right. All right. Cool. We've got one one down for that. Me, I, I'll, I'll, I'll be like the sober guy. That way I can run the machines. Yeah. Somebody's got to do <laughs> right, it. Somebody's got to. As long as it's not me. Drive the starship. <laughs> <laughs> So, so as you're writing throughout the years and stuff, what are some of the uh, 
like influence that kind of grabs you out through the world and stuff, you know, going through this. Well, I'm, I'm admit, I don't have a genre of music I really love. I love so much different music. But country music and especially alternative country music has really mm-hmm. kind of taken over my brain over the last 15 years. You know, I think Super Suckers kind of ruined me. <laughs> you know, Super Suckers is like a, a punk rock, almost hard rock country kind of a band and they've, they've changed over the years then because they're, they're, they're an older band well they get remember. old everybody gets right, old we all, I mean, we, all we slow down a little bit but <laughs> but yeah <laughs> I, I mean remember them back in like the max, maximum rock and roll days I yeah think definitely was, yeah the, the they the were magazine. even on sub pop at the beginning you know? right yeah they were like the only redneck rock and roll band in that whole grunge scene you know? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty fun. fucking rad but um then you know as you get older you get slower you know the stuff i like now is really sweet and smooth you know i like like all the classics, you know, Waylon and Willie. Kind of like Willie. whiskey. It just really sweetens over the years, you yeah. know, the more it's in the barrel. You know? but, but, I mean, also... Not, not that you know, we're in a barrel. But. Like Ryan Adams and Steve Earle and Drive-By Truckers are some of the newer stuff that's just really good that I've really been listening to for the last few 10, so 15 So if we were to hop years. in your car right now and, and the car would start, what would be blasting out? Uh, honestly, first one just... my son is a hip-hop artist and... He just put a CD out, you know, Spazzy okay. Davis Jr., check it out. So if you hop in my truck right now, you're going to hear that. See? <laughs> That's why I like that question, because you never know what's in you the You never car. know, and I don't like hip-hop much, but he's really talented. Well, you know, it, it, as long as it's got the... For me, rhythm and, and good positive. Yeah. That, that's a good place to start. But yeah. that, that's really cool. So we, maybe we can plug him in another time. Yeah, definitely. I could probably get him down here to yeah. do some stuff. He just put his record out like uh, about two weeks ago. Oh, nice. That's always nice when things are fresh. Yeah, and, yeah. And he's, everybody's excited with that energy. Yeah, he's, he worked hard for it. But, but normally, if you got in my truck, it'd be a hodgepodge of of like drive-by truckers from Steve Earle, probably Everything Must Go, which is an old punk band from Oakland. It just it's just who knows, you know. I got a six disc changer. <laughs> so I got six discs. Probably one empty slot, so only five. All right. It takes a minute to go. Yeah, exactly. It's like all silent. Yeah. You know, disc players are like the cassettes, you know. Remember we used to have cassettes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those, those disc are cool. player, disc players. Until they melted is, the hot the heat. Yeah. There. Actually, they're making a comeback. I went to the show a show this weekend, saw Monster Treasure and a couple out of town bands, and everybody had cassettes. You know, they all were pimping their cassettes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I still got some cassette players. I used to have the double deck, so I still got oh, one. Oh yeah, you know, for it's sure. Tough. I remember. I think everybody got really good at fixing that little tape head. You know mm-hmm. how it kind of moved or got loose, and you know, or taping the tape. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, you put a little bit of scotch tape on there. <laughs> Definitely. He's like, don't mind this. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, we got another song here from Steven, and uh, tell us what we got here. Okay, well, hmm, I guess uh, I'll do a new song, so if I screw it up, you can't really blame me, because it's a new song, but it's ah. more of a slow song. It's a, all right. you know, heartbreaking song. If you like country music, you gotta like heartbreak. You gotta like it. All right. <clears throat> I've been calling out your name I hear only echoes I've gone insane I think everybody knows But I feel no pain Everything's changing My pride and lay It's fooling me again Halfway to hell So far from heaven What did I do To get here I'm halfway to hell So far from heaven it's cause you been gone all the way. I'm so tired of falling down. Never seem to get up. And I hate myself. So I'm drinking again. Just one more round So I 
can forget when it takes me down. Well, you can have the rest halfway to hell. So far from heaven, what did I do? Get here today. I'm halfway to hell. I'm so far from heaven. It's cause of you. And gone all the way. Yeah, it's cause of you. Cause of you. All right, some good outlaw. Thank you. Yeah, man, that's 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 some good stuff. You know, just want to say thanks to everybody for listening in tonight. You know, this is uh, Yellow Dot Spotlight Show. This is uh, part of the Outlaw Country series. You know, Steve Littleton's in it. And uh, part of the other ar- artists that I was able to come by with, with the outlaw country music was uh, Cole Hinkle, Sean Wrangler, and Mondo uh, Marcel. Gosh, I hope I said that right. But, you know, <laughs> I, I want to, you know, gather everybody together to have a gig sometime. But, you know, I just love this kind of genre of music. And so I just want to thank everybody for coming together with this outlaw country series. Well, thank that, you, uh, man. You know, I don't really consider myself country. I haven't lived it, but uh-huh. I love it. And so I'm, I'm just playing stuff that... It's influenced by it is all I can say, you know. Yeah, yeah, it comes out, you know, which is which is awesome. Yeah. And so tell us about the experience at the stock market. You, pl- you played was, live over there. Well, and, first uh, of all, it was hot as hell. It was hot, right? <laughs> it, that, it was it was really hot, but it was great, you know. I mean, I kind of always wanted to do it, just you know to. It's a nice park, and it's a local. I mean, a local park with a nice event. You yeah, know? yeah. The, the girls are awesome over there. That that throw that. Yeah, I've been going know? there since yeah. the early days, and. I never made it when they did the mile, but you know I used to go all the time when they were at Plea for Peace, and so uh-huh. it was I, it was nice to finally be able to play. Wow, wow, that's a long journey, you know, from there. I caught them last year when they were at the the Miracle Mile in the streets, and I would actually just kind of show up at my friend's booth and just kind of do a quick little jam and then run real quick, <laughs> and then I would say, "Yeah, I did it." I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'm I, kidding. I, I bootlegged myself in there. I still got the check on the pin board, so I guess right. that makes me a professional now. Right. Hey, <laughs> you got the real stage. I mean, you made it to the real stage. And I always like park stages because it's so amazing because you're really close to people and, and the whole environment yeah. all together. You know, uh, that's one of my favorite stages is park stages. You know, it's kind of like a makeshift uh, yeah. shakedown shit, st- you know, stage that appears. And I was like, definitely. Wow. Anytime I can get someone out there to dance to my music, I'm happy, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, how do we find? How do we find a lot of your music? Um, well, um, on, or find you for other stuff, or any any of the bands that you're in? Because let's well, talk about your new project here in a well, minute. Let's talk about my the Delta Infidels, and then we'll talk about my solo stuff. I, I cool. just got a lot of irons in the coal right now, but that's that's all right. Know, that's the only way I'm happy. Is uh-huh. some are hotter than others. That's okay. You know. <laughs> so Delta Infidels is 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 the country alt band that I started as a solo project that became a band, and we're. 90% done with our record at Matt Young's downtown and um, we just can't seem to get that last 10% and you know we were scheduled because half my band is in the polyester wags which I'm sure mm-hmm. you know who they are yeah, yeah I've, so, been, I've been knocking at their door and they're like hey hey oh, yeah. like, I'll, 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 I, you know, I could probably get somebody over like, here to talk to Dave you Dave guy again man just keep <laughs> that door shut I'm kidding but like with you know sharing bands which everybody does when we get to a certain age yeah. you know it's hard to get everybody together and then they just went on tour and we were supposed to get into the studio the week before they went on tour but uh matt got sick and so we had to cancel so we got everything done except for one song that we didn't like we're going to redo and then Mm -hmm. mixing and mastering and i don't know hopefully it'll be out for christmas you know yeah that'll be nice you know especially winter time and everybody's looking for new music at that time and stuff like that yeah yeah definitely so Mm -hmm. be looking be looking and so we can find them uh, on well, Facebook. We, we do, I, I do mean, have a Facebook for that, and I have mm-hmm. a three-song demo I recorded myself in my garage. Um, 
The rough cuts. The those rough cuts. Cuts. Right. It's, it's pretty, those... <laughs> pretty deep tracks. <laughs> right. But um, you could hear a couple songs, you know, um, if you go to the just Del- the Delta Infidels on Facebook. And... You know, and I love those basement tapes because you can see how a song evolves. Like if you put another version out, yeah. you know, songs always change a little bit or if you get a different uh, chemistry well, yeah, of a person. Especially when you, go, when you go in and you um, record with Matt and you take – this rubbish that you've been <laughs> playing for the last two years, and he turns it into diamonds. I mean, he's he's good at that. Yeah, the, the, the new the new Paul Rubin. <laughs> I don't know if I'll go that far. Sorry, Matt. No, he's, he's it's just radio talk. It's just radio talk. I swear. I swear. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna turn this fan on. Yeah, that'd be you know, great. Gotta get a little hot, and warm. There we go. So as we're cruising cruising here through the time of history through Stockton. Uh, let me see. What, what, did you, what is your most memorable gig uh, up to date? That we played the Growers Hall. I remember. I know the you Growers remember the Growers Hall, right? They had a lot of uh, downtown well, on. Uh, I was in a band called Brother Kane, and all you old metal farts will remember that band. Yeah. But um, we played the Growers Hall, and, and I forget who the headliner was, but they, there had to have been close to six hundred people there, and it was just chaos. I mean, it was just every show we played back then was chaos, you know. Oh, yeah, I remember Brother Kane. Um, our band at that time was never together. Oh, I remember. And we got to pair up a lot or open up together with, with each other and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And, uh, yeah, the Growers Hall, that was a nice couple of summer scene that was happening there that, that we all ever got to yeah. enjoy. So for those who remember it's Growers Hall, share those memories because... Uh, well, Growers Hall was on Wilson Way, for, so it was in a bad neighborhood. But it was an upstairs venue with a bar downstairs. <laughs> right. And normally they would have farmers upstairs talking about sheep sales and wheat prices. But every once in a while they'd let us have a show there. And, and you'd bring thrash and punk bands from everywhere. As loud as you want. I remember back in the day. And there like... was always fights. And there was always somebody crying and stuff getting broken. And, and, <laughs> but there was always great music. And we had a good time. You know? Oh, yeah. The 90s were great. I mean, that was... Yeah. I thought I was a rock star for a second. Hey, that's okay. That's, 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 you know, that's a nice place to be for a moment, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was good times. And then somebody lit it on fire, and that was that. That's it. The I mean, roof the was on fire. still there, but, yeah. you know. It's never recovered, I don't think. Or no. I've never heard anything Or similar. maybe they just didn't want us back, you know? <laughs> we'll tell them we burned it down. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Let's um, later on. Maybe I can jump in on a, on the mandolin. I'll just ad lib over you. Definitely. I mean, to just keep to yourself. I'll just kind of fiddle around, you know. Yeah. And stuff like that. But anyways, let's get. Uh, if you have another song, it'd be awesome. Let's yeah, I got a one. song. All right, all right. This song is called um, "Ring and Ring." You know, it's mm-hmm. it's the other side of the story to a breakup. Wait. Maybe I should. All right. Say right. something funny. We've got plenty of time. So, there I was in a bar, and da dunk. Y'all can figure that one and fill in the blank spaces. So, anyways, we're here at kxvs.org, and this is the Yellow Dot Spotlight Show. Uh, every Friday is 12 to noon, usually, but this is a Wednesday night special edition. Um, if I'm dating the show, sorry. But, anyways, here we are at kxvs.org with the community radio station that we're always uh, throwing fundraisers here and there for to uh, get the tower so we can all have a voice and really branch out. Uh, you can check out the website, KS, kxvs.org, and see what's happening there with all the community radio stuff. And so tonight... And I'd just like to say I am looking for a guitar tick. It's, it's not a paying position. It's a position of love. It's a position of there. love. That's it. It's good to get you... It's we'll, gonna get your foot in the door, so we'll do a quick commercial of that after after <laughs> after a jam. We'll see if we can get a commercial going. All right, here here we go again. I'm gonna try this again. Cool. And I'm a good songwriter, but I'm not a good guitar player. Oh, you're awesome, man. You're awesome. She left me for another man. I guess I'll understand. And weep, honey. I still sleep. She let that phone ring and ring, ring and ring. I let my phone ring and ring. It don't mean a thing. She 
about I lost my head Without her I'd be dead She found the world up there cold Ain't got nowhere to go She let that phone ring and ring, ring and ring. I let my phone ring and ring. She don't mean a thing. The rocket. See, that's full of energy, man. That, that's awesome. Thank you. Hey, cool. Hey, I just got word right here of my engineer in the back. Uh, that checks out our show you know we got our camera kind of froze for a minute so we'll, we'll get that technical difficulty difficulty you know that word we'll get it fixed <laughs> <laughs> the hardships i'm trying to use the big radio words didn't work didn't work so uh so anyways we're here uh with, with steve littleton the senior and uh we're going back through time gosh we talked about the growers hall we talked about the fourth street era we talked about all these things trucker dad Santino, you know, he's everywhere. Hey, Santino! You, Santino? Hey, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyways, um, well, if we can do another song, that way I can try to work on maybe this technical difficulty. Not a problem. Def- you know that word. Gosh, I can't even say that. So anyways, you know, if I could fix this thing to get the cameras back up and rolling. So here, anyways, uh, go ahead and take it away, Steve. Well, I'm not very pretty to look, look at there. anyway, so it's probably a good thing. <laughs> it's all right. All right, this is an old song. I don't know. Maybe I'll pull it off, maybe I won't.
I like that. That little twerk. <laughs> it's like that subsonic noise of the E just vibrating crazy. <laughs> so I'd like to thank Richard for helping me out there. Click on the refresh button. So uh, there we go. We figured it out. Thank Sometimes you, you got to refresh that computer. Just kind of. Anyways. Nice, nice. That is cool. So um, we're hanging out here with Steve Littleton Jr. here at the KXVS.org, a yellow dot spotlight show. And uh, we're just kicking it around, doing some jams and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, when I seen some pictures and at the stock market, the washboard guy. Who, oh, who, Pops. Pops, yeah. I had never met him. And if, if I did, as acquaintances, oh, maybe at Blackwater that's, sometime. That's but. my good buddy. Um, he plays also with the Wags. Yeah, yeah. He's okay. a maniac. You know? <laughs> right. When I seen him with the Wags, he's just, man, I just love that sound. He's like, yeah, sounds yeah. like, I got to meet that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to, I should have brought him in tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll th- yeah. Anytime uh, when we're on the show, yeah, bring some friends. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll be on again for definitely, sure. Definitely, stuff. So, um, any upcoming gigs or any, anything coming that we could share? With, yes, with the definitely. Folks? Um, and I'm not even—I don't even have the particulars of this yet. But a friend of mine from Bremerton, up there in Washington, plays in this amazing band called Neutral Boy. It's, to me, one of the greatest punk rock bands ever. But he's coming down to do a solo gig with him and a friend, and I booked the Whiskey Barrel right across oh. the street for August 25th. And so right now it's Mike the Pike plus guests. It's going to be the Delta Infidels, my country band. Nice. And then we're hoping to get somebody for a headliner. I've got, I'm in talks with a couple people, but they haven't said yes yet. So uh, I'm not going to give them a free plug if they're not going to confirm. It right. Uh, wait. <laughs> you, <laughs> you hear that? Y'all about, Carl, <laughs> you got to right. You got to confirm and commit. I'm know. kidding. Hopefully, I'm hopefully kidding. Who, who I want to get, I can get. Um, but if not, um, it's going to be somebody good. Yeah. Well, shoot, we'll have to have another uh, another but show for that. I you would know, definitely bring say in the come out to the Whiskey Barrel in Stockton on August 25th to see Mike the Pike. You will be blown away. One of the greatest songwriters I've ever heard. So, and I'm pretty good too. I think. Hey, right on. Hey, that's what we're here for, you know. <laughs> so we're looking forward to that August 25th at the Whiskey Barrel. Definitely. And, it, and you're throwing that your production. Uh, yeah, I've, ne- I've never you thrown know. a show in my life. There we go. I'm bringing hey. my PA from my jam room, and it's just you know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it as a favor. I mean, I haven't. This is the only promotion I've done so far. So I hey, have to come you're gonna get a lot of support. I know it, man. So awesome. Come on, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, if we can get the infidels in for performance. For that show, that that'd be awesome. If you can squeeze this you know. in this room, that'll work. Hey, well, you're here. You, you did some like <laughs> renaissance, you know, some some footwork first. So whatever you think, definitely. Well, you know, or you know, you, lately I've been practicing going live on location, so we can always do that too. Yeah, we you can know, do we'll, something we'll like We'll check that. that out, but no worries. It's all, it's all radio talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Call me. Call me right now. So. Okay. Um, is there a song I can maybe jam on with you real quick? Or sure. A little... All right. I got a song that's on the new Delta Infidels record that is about to come out hopefully soon. And um, I've played this over at the Blackwater at the open mic, so there's a free plug for you too, Pat. <laughs> All right, right. So, so that's um, every every Wednesday's uh, last Wednesday? I, it's. You know, I think they've stepped it up to every other Wednesday, so I don't think they're doing it tonight, but they did it last week, and they're probably going to do it next week. Oh, cool. cool I, 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 I miss it more than I... That I want to it's just somehow uh, always seem to be busy, but yeah, those things scare there's me. There's some amazing talent in this town, and, and half of them go through there and play. That's what scares so, me. <laughs> no, it's great support over there and everything. It's, it's wonderful. All right, so this song is called Gasoline. It's a slow one. Okay. Uh, it's basically G D E and then G D C. I mean G D A, and that's the whole song. Okay, so. I'll give you a nod for your course, but yeah. All right. We were just playing this in my backyard last night, and Chicago didn't bring his mandolin, so I was hoping he would. So here's what it's going to sound like, all right? All right. (laughs) Thanks. Okay. Gasoline. (laughs) Well, I think you're killing. Thank you. 
Yeah, nice. Hey, thanks. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. You know, the, the, the music world and, and other, all kinds of art forms, it's really neat. But when you get in that little, that world and all that energy connects, you know, between musicians, it's just it's a wonderful thing, that energy you can feel. Yeah. And then when you can do that back to the audience, and then the audience returns that energy, man, that, that's that's like one of the magic moments yeah. that that happens. Definitely. You know, it's uh Definitely. It's and I'm a narcissist. I just want people to like my stuff. You know? <laughs> right. I, me too. That's what I just like need me. validation. That's all. <laughs> No, you rock, man. This was cool. This was cool. Thank you. And, and, I, and I'm so glad we came live, you know, and, and you, you had, he came in no worries at all. He's just like, what do I do? Where am I at? You know, and I was like, wow, this, this guy's just ready. Well, I did jam for an hour before I got here. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. All right. We're doing good on time and stuff. So what, you know, as, as we run into, gosh. In early 90s, we were, we were the kids, and we had elders to look up to. And now we're kind of the elders a little bit. New generations coming through and stuff and, and try, try to collaborate. You know, anything that we might want to send messages to the new generation of music, music, music tears. I would say. only say that because of the Internet, there's a lot more opportunity, but there's a lot more people out there. So practice. Run past that whole... I want to sound like this, I want to sound like that, and find your own voice because that's the only way you're going to stand out in this world is, is finding your own voice. And just play every day. Practice. Don't, there you go. don't you know, waste like, your time. Don't watch TV all the time. Don't <laughs> sit around just smoking weed all day. Or if you're going to smoke weed, pick up Make it productive. Right, yeah, but, I mean, you know, <laughs> but just guitar. don't waste time because next thing you know, you look like this and... What have you done? Ten you years know? have gone behind, right? <laughs> <laughs> they made that song for a reason. 10, 20, 30, 20 years, you know? Right. <laughs> you know, and I'm glad you mentioned that, that the mass media is just so incredible. It's almost overwhelming for me as I keep learning more and more. I was just pretty much almost happy telephone by telephone poll. Yeah. It took a while, but, you know, I, I, I like that, you know. And then you collect the posters from that. But, you know, this mass media, like you said, you just be yourself. And, and people really can see that through the camera. And, and Well, you know, and it's, just... it's all about hard work, too. I mean, I, I look at my son, and I, I, he's probably one of my biggest influences right now because he yeah. worked so hard to make his record by himself, and, and he had all the obstacles. Living out in the country with no car, you know, trying to get all the obstacles. And he just came out with a record, and, you know, it's, it's incredible, you know. And I look at people like there's a, there's a country artist right now that just won a Grammy, Sturgill Simpson. And he was just an old guy doing HVAC up in Seattle. <laughs> and his wife said, screw it. You write good songs. Let's throw everything away and move to Nashville. And he spent all the money and made his own record. And, I mean, he went from just this guy, you know, installing air conditioners to a Grammy-winning country artist. And, you know, he was 35 when he started that. Yeah, it's never too late. You it know? Was just, I it's mean... just a beautiful story. I mean, it's, insp it's inspiring, man. Draw inspiration from good people and... And that's well, everyday people, just you know, like you said, a uh, uh, heater know, and air vat guy. He wasn't he wasn't born into it because he was somebody famous's cousin or son. He was just this hardworking, good songwriter, you know. All right, and it's almost the old fashioned saying: the more work you put into it, the richness you can reap yeah. from what what you're doing on that yeah, definitely. and everything, you know. And, and uh, yeah, Nashville that that's hitting man. A lot of people are going there. Yeah. Uh, Cole Hinkle and Mondo, they mm -hmm. just came back from there. Yeah. You know, if everybody's following their journey on, on the Facebook. And, no, and but I, 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 I've heard about his record and, you know, yeah. he's friends with my girlfriend and, and she told me all about what he did. And I was like, God, that's what I got to do. I know, that's it. <laughs> you know, I'm, as, as a painter, that? I'm going to throw my paintbrush away. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that every time I listen to somebody play guitar. But, uh -huh. you know, I just. But it's the hard work. It is. And, and I think with the hard work, I always want to praise the support system that people have, whether it's their yeah. family, 
especially the wives or, or the girlfriends or boyfriends, yeah. they, you know, they go through that. And that, that's a hard road for somebody who's a non-musician with a musician, yeah. uh, let, let alone two musicians together. They have their different roads. But, yeah. you know, um, the support system, and, and I, you know, I want to say thank you for all that. Well, you know, musicians are just children who don't grow up. You know? Right. We still have given up on our silly little dreams. And to be an adult woman in love with somebody like that, that's, that's a rough road. It is. It is. You know, I every, don't envy it. Right. I'm glad I'm on my side just where I'm at. But, you know, every once in a while, because it cracked me up when I, was, when I was younger, teenager, and I'll still play it once in a while, is the Twisted Sister video, the very beginning, right? You know, the guy from Animal House. Yeah. You know, he brings it in the guy's room. He's like, what do you want to do with your life? You know, because I want to rock. And all of a sudden, the video, came. I'll never forget that when I first seen that video. I, of course, I was rocking before then, but it just reinforced. Oh, yeah, I just yeah. want to rock, man. Those guys have a good story. I mean, they're kind of oh. goofy as a band, but they have a great oh, story. Oh, Dee Snyder, uh, she's an amazing producer, and, and you wouldn't know that until you really peeled off the layers of that guy. Yeah. You know, he was making movies for a while, but... Uh, yeah. Anyways, I don't know how we got on Twisted Sister, but Twisted you know. Twisted Sister, you don't, don't bring up Twisted Sister. <laughs> right, it, there's an awesome documentary that has to be watched. Oh, my gosh. It's, oh, I haven't seen that. It, no, it, really? It, well, it's, the amazing thing is is it just shows them coming up, and the end of it is right when they hit. So it doesn't even talk about their fame. Oh. It talks about how they were the greatest band in the rock in the New York tri-state area for years, and they mm -hmm. played to thousands of people three, four nights a week and never got a break until – when they finally got a break. That was it. See, Badass. I mean... MTV and video, which is... <laughs> man, that helped out everybody, I think, you know, during that yeah. phase. And speaking of, you know, I feel special here at, at KXVS because we are a video and audio show. Um, other places that I do go to and, and have my Yellow Dot show, other places that I have that, it's a lot of it's just audio. And, and it's still fun. But, man, you know, uh, I really like the cutting edge here that we have, that it's audio and video. Too. So you can see our ugly mugs and the goofy things we do <laughs> behind the scenes. <laughs> so. I'm going to move all these computers, touch all these mouses, and do all these things, and all these buttons and noises. All right, so we're actually here for you, Steve. Let's kick out another one. All right, can, I don't know if I can do this song. What's, what's our, our rating here? Are we PG-13? Are we... Um, this one's yeah, we're PG thirteen, uh, just shy of R, but you know we, we right. can't. Well, I, th I think I'll we can't right. do a direct. No, we, and we can't go. To a, uh, right, well, I don't know. We we'll can see, play, we'll we see can, what happens. Right, we can play play with words. I guess I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's not too bad, you know. I mean, I, they'll let me know like, with my walking papers. <laughs> <laughs> this song's called "Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll." Drugs 
So I went down to the old soup kitchen to ease my aching belly. Looking about as haggard as I can be, and the said abstinence in prayer and the gospel the only life for me but I said abstinence in prayer Four, six Trucks Rock and roll Is the life for me Of a sex And drugs Prove me the ruin of me That's right I said sex And drugs Prove me the ruin of me One more time Say get a witness <laughs> we all need a little gospel in our lives all the time it can never hurt the spirit wait till you hear that song on the delta infidels oh, record coming out hopefully by christmas red i can just feel the power and passion on that i am trying to procure a gospel to gospel group to sing on the back of that and i think i have one. Oh, that'd be epic it i was, mean yeah oh, man i can't wait so we hear it right first you know some ideas are happening i, think, I, I didn't say that that's right, a secret i know it's just radio talk right radio talk just a little bit of just, mm. just a little <laughs> so with the album that you're talking about we've been we're, how long have you been working on that one because we were talking about the trucker dad earlier uh, but the, in, the uh, infidel album uh, i've probably been writing it for about two years the band's been around for about a year plus and we started recording it about hmm, i don't know man april about april <laughs> so we, we we decided to take our time and I don't know if that was the best decision because we've really taken our time. <laughs> like, we lived that out. <laughs> we rode that dog down. <laughs> well, there's definitely enough whiskey to uh, <laughs> keep the time nice and relaxed. You know? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. We, we do enjoy our whiskey. Right, yeah. And I just had to bring that joke back around, you know. <laughs> so sometimes the whiskey helps. Sometimes the whiskey doesn't help. No, no I'm kidding. Right. <laughs> So, uh, so who are on? Who are in the band? Uh, well, we, didn't get, we didn't get to know everybody's I've name. I've got yet. Chicago from the uh, from the Polyester Wags plays guitar. Okay, yeah, he's an amazing guitar player. He plays mandolin too, but we're, we haven't really jumped out yet. Um, bass is Walt, Walt Graham, or we call him the Coach or the Tornado. Um, he's a school teacher. I'm not going to say where. I don't want to ruin his career. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, on drums we have Johnny Grant, the amazing Johnny Grant. Um, he's also with Del I mean he also with Paul Elster Wag, and I've been in bands with him back in the day too. I and mean, just just an encyclopedia of music knowledge and just a really chill, beautiful man. And then um, Pops on on percussion. He plays the washboard. He plays the maracas. Plays on my nerves. Plays <laughs> on my nerves. Right. <laughs> The last one, I got two more left for you. I got two more left for you. <laughs> and, um, you know, he's been one of the guys behind me from the beginning that really pushed me to, to do this solo stuff. And there's that support system. Yeah, man. definitely. Awesome. All right. Man. And then me, uh, small town on vocals and acoustic guitar. Nice, nice. Well, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be really good, energetic, and good stuff. Well, you should come see it on August 25th yes. at the Whiskey Barrel. Yeah, we're going to be there. That's right. We're going to keep plugging is that, that in. Plug, huh? right? This. <laughs> that is, and so that yeah, and that and again, who is coming in out of town? That way, Mike the Pike Mike from the Bremerton Pike. from a, a punk rock band called Nutriboy. Boy. They've been around for 25 years, and 
They've resisted mainstream labels left and right because they've been everybody from Fat Records mm -hmm. on down has tried to sign them, and he just they're holding out. They're like, yeah, he's just you know. he's just not the guy. <laughs> That's not what he wants, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but he's dude, he's got about five amazing punk rock records, and and now he's coming and doing his acoustic stuff, which I haven't heard, and I can't wait to hear. Wow, he's coming through Stockton too. You know, yeah. that's really great about Stockton. We do get these gems coming through. Oh yeah, a lot. You know, you know, um, back in the day, Blackwater had a lot of people come through. That that that's out there, and and the Whiskey Barrels is, is the newest venue in a year year or two or so. You it's know, been there for a while. Yeah. Stockton, anyways. I know they had the Lodi one. Yeah. But you know, they're, man, some of these acts that can come through, you're, gonna, you're only going to see them in Stockton because they're just coming through or hanging out. Yeah. And, well, I've seen Bob Dylan here years ago, so that's something. Yeah. You know, I mean, all the way from Bob Dylan to nobody's, you know, right. Cake. You, you know, I remember Cake when they used to play at that's, Blackwater. That's, yeah, you know? and they would just be hanging out, you know, and, uh, yeah, we'd be watching them through the window and just hanging out, drinking, and uh, whatever. <laughs> I think more. People, I know I'll teach you to pay I the think tank. More two bucks, people man. watch shows $2. at the Blackwater on the outside of the glass window than on the inside. I know. Now that I'm older, I, if I found my younger self, I'd slap myself, dude. It's only two dollars. Yeah, just dude, where's my two dollars? Pay the money and go in. I know. Uh, so there you go, for, folks. You know, uh, support the local scene. You know, it's only a couple bucks. I know you might be broke that night, but that's how money's work. You just got to go back and make more so you can support the nights. Definitely. You know? you know, bands need to get paid, you know. That's right. You know, support. Buy that album, you know, uh, the merchandise. Now, yeah. That really helps out a lot of the bands. Yeah. You know, when they're when they're doing their thing, the merch. Uh, and we got all kinds of trucker dad merchandise. We have CDs. CDs. We have T-shirts. We have koozies. We have pins. We're working, you know. Then we can find them on the, on the Facebook. You have a, your, the yeah, Trucker Dad is on Facebook, days. definitely. And everything, you can order stuff through there. Everything's so easy now. You don't have to have .com or anything. You just go to the Facebook. <laughs> just type it in. It comes up. Yeah. yeah. And you can, actually, you can listen to us on Spotify for free. You can listen to us on iTunes. You can't listen to us on Pandora because for some reason we got denied by Pandora. I don't know if it was the content of the music, but huh. definitely Pandora said no. <laughs> They're like... We're Pandora. We, we could be picky and choosy. Well, I, like, I mean, when does that happen? I don't know. Isn't like, Gigi uh, Allen on a, Pandora? Right, <laughs> and we're not. And he's going to kill himself like the fifth time or the tenth time or something. You know? Yeah. You know, I'm going to write a letter. Yeah, I, think, I'm we, I think we need a movement. <laughs> a new movement. Dang, Pandora. I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to take a quick breather. So earlier, I, I kind of forgot. Was there a commercial that we were going to try to attempt? Uh, we were going to try to, uh, uh, what I'm doing is I'm looking for an intern guitar tech. Oh, that's right. Okay. So here we go. Intern guitar tech commercial. Take one. Hi, I'm Dave Molina and I'm the producer here at Spotlight Radio Show. And we are looking for an intern for Steve Littleton and we are looking for a guitar tech. And Steve, can you please help us out? What you're looking for? Duties include tuning and stringing my guitar, carrying my guitar, carrying all my gear, carrying all my luggage. Bringing me drinks, bringing me shots, bringing me beers, rolling joints. You don't got to wash my car, but you might want to put fuel in it once in a while, feed my dogs, and I don't know. Don't be a dick. Right. That, that's what interns do. And so, oh, I'm still in commercial mode. So that is what interns do, and that is what we're looking for. So please contact Steve Littleton uh, Sr. on Facebook for internship. Thank you, Holly. And uh, the contest is win a beating. <laughs> And take snap. Beautiful. All right, cool. So we'll, we'll, uh, there's a commercial I hope we can use. Uh, I'm sure they'll be beating <laughs> down my door. <laughs> oh, no, there's Dave again. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to start this uh, Hey You series. So uh, well, I'll, I'm going to try to throw that out there. Hopefully, you all start catching it through the time. <laughs> Anyways, you know. That one guy that just keeps knocking on the door. It's like, hey. hey. So, any favorite movies lately? Real quick. Oh, uh, I don't watch much movies. Not much or movies. TVs, no. No. Any big screens? Do you still go to the big movies? No. no. I mean, I'm not Rare. interested in. I, I know I'm going to get hate mail for this, but I'm not interested in comic books and Star Wars 17 and all that crap. Mm -hmm. um, it gets overwhelming for me. I, I'm kind of old school. I just kind of stay with the basics and then. What I get is what I get. I don't throw too much of a fit. Yeah. <laughs> if I have time, I'm usually playing my guitar or vegging out. If I'm watching anything, it's Netflix, and it's just stand-up comedy or cartoons or a documentary about music. You know? The documentaries are awesome. I love the Netflix about that. And we watch a lot of documentaries There's all over the There's some great place. ones on there for sure. Mm -hmm. 
It is cool. Man, I could just start going off on a whole other subject. Uh, I mean, that definitely I mean, could be its own radio right. show. You know what I mean? It's, we, real quick, oh, man, we're running out of time. Real quick, on Netflix, there's like this weird UFO one. I don't know if you've seen it. This guy really got captured. And, oh, yeah. Uh, that, um, yeah, I, I saw about half of it. You saw a little bit of it? Yeah, I had it's to walk like, away when the aliens started looking through the window. Yeah, he's all <laughs> peeking through. And I was like, well, it almost looks... I'm like, I want to believe it. You're making it really hard. Right, I know. I was like, going, I don't know. Some of it seemed believable. Some of it... Some of it were like, I don't know, it looked kind of imposed, but yeah, I, like I said, I, I love my imagination. I just let it run. Oh, I, knew, I, like, I knew it was something, but I was like, huh. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Right, I was sure. like, well, what? I mean, what if there's even 10% that it, it could be a little oh, bit Oh, I'm real. sure there's definitely <laughs> aliens out there. I totally agree. I just don't know that they are uh, attacking this one dude. <laughs> right, I know. 133 That's why I kept times. asking, I'm like, why do they keep attacking this one guy? <laughs> right. <laughs> And he's already trying to rat him out. Wouldn't you just go to somebody else who was a little bit more low-key? <laughs> so there's your uh, documentary uh, update. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're running out of time here. We're going to close it up. Uh, we, do you want time for one more? Do you want to do one more? Or um, we're okay? Sure. <laughs> All right. Okay. This will be the last song. Really glad to have you, Steve. Thank you for yeah, having me. I really I appreciate it. All right. <clears throat> Has anybody ever sang such a sad song like I wrote for you? I'm crying in my coffee, 12 steps ain't helping, couldn't get past two. I just want to come home, dear. Please open up your door. I just want to come home, dear. Won't hurt you anymore, anymore I know I should get sober Realize my drinking's getting out of hand but I never said unkind words, never let a finger, baby, understand. I just want to come home, dear. Please open up your door. I just want to come home, dear. Won't hurt you anymore, anymore. I turned myself off there. <laughs> Hope to have some more soon. Okay, well, that does it for our show. You can definitely check out all the reruns at the Yellow Dot Spotlight YouTube. 
Uh, it is live now, but when we shut off, you can recheck it out on the Facebook of uh, The Voice of Stockton on Facebook, and it'll be out there soon, so on YouTube, and uh, we'll be sharing it. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. All right, man. We'll catch up soon, and uh, we'll have some whiskey tasting. There we'll you open go. Open some oh, different yeah. brands and get some inside. I'm already in. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this kicked off here. All right, we'll see you later.